my channel today's video is an exciting one I'm showing you how to make an infinity dress this dress can be styled so many ways I am so obsessed with it I think it's a perfect dress for the holidays you can wait to a wedding you can wait to a party you can wait to your own things I don't know what you have planned for this holiday season but it's so versatile and I should be telling you what I'm doing instead of talking so let me get to telling you what I let's just get to it what I'm doing now is I marked off 10 inches I wanted my straps to be about 10 inches wide and I feel like this is enough width to cover your boobs without exposing anything so in case you're unsure just go with 10 inches or more it's up to you and how much coverage you'd want but 10 inches worked perfectly for me and I am not complaining so in case you want to do that you go right ahead and do so also the length of my straps is about 56 inches long I know that sounds very long but I'd actually recommend for you to go longer because the longer your straps are the more styles you can do and the better for you okay so yeah oh yeah 58 inches long not 56 okay at least I corrected that now we're going to move on to making the skirt and what you're going to do is you're going to measure your waist multiply that by two and then you're gonna cut off that piece of fabric and make sure you're cutting off two bits that way you have the front of your skirt and the back of your skirt you don't want to have a backless skirt if that makes sense so make sure you have two pieces pin them together and sew along the sides So this is just going to be a lovely montage of me pinning my fabric together. You're welcome. After that is said and done, sew along both sides and then you're going to move on to hemming your skirt. This is to just give it that polished, finished I bought this kind of dress you know that look not that I made this in my basement and I have no friends so you want this to give off the vibe of that it was done by someone professional so just hem it you don't have to be perfect at it just make sure you do a good job and then now we're gonna move on to gathering the top of the skirt So the reason I recommend multiplying your waist size by two is to make sure that you have a lot of gathers and this is what gives your skirt that kind of flowy, princessy kind of feel. You can gather it with a sewing machine, I just found gathering with my hand a bit easier. It's all up to you in case you want to put an elastic band, it's all up to you. This is a DIY and you can modify it to fit your needs. So I'm just showing you a baseline that you can follow and get roughly the same result. So yeah, I gathered my fabric by hand and it didn't take long. It was quite easy to do. Just go up and down along the fabric and once you're done, just sew along the gathers to keep them in place. This definitely helps rather than leaving them just like that. Once you've done that, it's time to stitch the sides of the sleeves. This way they look profesh. We're all about making this dress look profesh. So what I'm doing is I'm pinning down the sides and I'm gonna sew along those sides, give it a finished look. Then I'm now moving on to attaching the straps to my dress and I did this along the gathers and it was pretty easy to do as well. This is an easy DIY. It looks complicated, but I promise you it's not. Also, make sure when you're attaching the straps, you start from the hem, like from the side of the skirt, not the hem, such that it comes right at the middle and make sure they overlap the straps that is by about an inch or two and you'll be good. 
you don't want a gaping hole between your boobies that is not a cute look once you've pinned everything down sew it and now it's time to make a sash this is totally optional but for me I felt like it gave the dress a finished and polished look rather than having the gathers just exposed so this sash was more to hide my sins and my crimes so it's totally optional but I recommend you do it because it totally made a difference with my whole dress mine was about six inches wide once i folded it and sewed it down it was about three inches wide so make it as wide as you like as narrow as you like it's all up to you girl you do your thing this is your diy do whatever you want once you've sewed down the sides, I actually had to attach like fabric pieces together because I wanted a very long strap. Mine is about 50 inches long, which is quite long, but I wanted that kind of falling down effect at the back. And once I'd sewed everything, I turned it the right way out, which took a bit of time, but it is what it is. This is the price we pay for this beautiful DIYs. Once you've turned your strap the right way out, just sew along the sides to finish it off. That way it doesn't come undone, no one wants that. And once you're done, this is how you wear the dress. I'm gonna leave you with a couple of ways you can style this dress, but I really hope you enjoy this video and that I will see you in my next one. Until then, bye! Enjoy the styles, don't go anywhere. Enjoy the nine styles. Okay, bye!